So you have here. This is an up 3D printer. Okay. And it's a pre-assembled printer for $1,500. Okay. And Does it come assembled? Pre-assembled, you said. Pre okay. And really, all you have to do is screw on this extruder head and this um, build platform. Okay. And you saw the software, and you can run this on Windows or OS X. Okay. And how long would it take you to do something like this? I mean, I guess if you're that took uh, about an hour to to print out. Okay, and then how much to design it? Oh, to design it, it's up to you as a sure. designer. Okay, uh, but for you, did, did you do this one? Yeah. Um, Pretty basic shape, and you didn't really have a requirement to fill, right? I had to. Um, this is for the leg for the maker. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Uh, a 3D representation of the logo. Oh, okay, so I great. I kind of like spent my time Make your life. this. And you nice. made those in this? Yeah. Okay. So they, it, kind of, it just built something using the Squire Unbelievable. Yeah, this is uh, ABS plastic. $14.99. Um, the same stuff Legos are made of. So you program a three-dimensional thing in there and look what it can create. Thank you. So I'm here at the 3D printer row, and you are? Lane. Lane, okay. And you have PrinterBot, you're part of the PrinterBot group. Okay, so tell me about what we're doing here. This is kind of fun. And this guy is printing out one of these right here. Oh, okay. A, uh, someone had uh, made this model of this, like, tri Lego, so you can, like, have oh. these really custom, cool Lego pieces. Nice. Right now, let's print out one of those. It's almost done, actually. Will it interact with Lego? Yeah. Oh, can I have one? Uh, I don't know. I didn't put it out. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, we just got this printing, like, you know, this is like the first print of the day for this Nice. Guy. Oh, look at that. How cool that is. Can I get closer? Yeah. It's, it's pretty much the same on the inside. Now, you were talking about the uh, printer head being open source? Yeah. The, 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 this part? There's two parts. There's the extruder, okay. which is the plastic bits. Uh -huh. There's they the uh, hot end, which is can actually melt the plastic. Uh -huh. And those are open source. Yeah. Okay, and then um, because we have a lot of companies here today, so everybody's um, building around that base. Cool. Okay, well, thank you very much. How long will it take to finish this? Uh, this guy has... So we assembled, uh, we don't sell them assembled currently. So these are all sold. Probably another Okay, and so actually I do have a couple more questions. So this one is how much? This one is the 8x8x8, it's the printer bot plus. Okay. This one is $700. 700 and you have to put the screws together. Yeah, but there's no soldering or anything involved. Okay. All electronics and stuff are ready to go. Just plug it in. Okay. And then this one is? This one isn't for sale. This is just kind oh. of an example. This is called a double wide. Uh huh. This is kind of like something we're thinking about. Oh, okay. Prototype. Okay. Cool. The one we're actually is this guy and that guy. This guy is the original printer block. Uh huh. Uh, that one goes for 550. Okay. And then this guy just snapped yesterday. This is the printer about Junior. That will go for about 350. Oh, really? Cool. And then so the um, the material, yep. ABS plastic. And, and, all and anybody, can, a whole bunch of people make them. You just any way you, you okay. Some people better than others, but yeah. okay. And they said it was about 50 dollars a kilogram. Is what uh, he said. Not quite that much. Okay. But all right, just trying to Depends where you get it. judge yeah. judge the whole cost of this. Cool, thanks. This is the hex pattern. Uh -huh. There's another one where it just goes like line between the. I see, and so um, you you can determine what that is. Yeah, and you can also determine the percentage that's filled. Will it will it figure out how much the weight is? Yeah. Okay. So like this is like I think that's uh, forty percent. Uh -huh. But you can this, this number is changed. It can be anywhere from totally empty like that or yeah. totally filled. Wow, cool. Get a percentage and automatically determines how much you should uh, put in there. Check that out. Back again. Back again? Yeah, rock. really. Straight. <laughs> Plastic, is it? I don't know. Feels like a rock. Plastic. I know, Thank something's you. up in there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this one actually was uh, one of the high resolution. This one actually was put at a 0.1 millimeter layer height. So, like, 
can't even see the lines from the can't oh, even right. see the lines that are right. going horizontally. Right. Can't even see the horizontal right. tone lines from that guy. Right. The only line you see are lines from the actual model that yeah, you made so it from. Hmm. This is the lines for this would be going this way, but you don't see any lines going that way because it's just so small. Now, I want to ask, is there an easy way to get a 3D image into into the um, software? Like an object? Yeah. Um, so is there like some sort of 3D scanner that... There are a couple of uh, ones. I don't think there are any ones that are free. Uh -huh. But there's one software you can get where basically you just take a bunch of pictures around the object uh -huh. and they will automatically stitch them together and build the uh, g model. Oh, good. Actually, there is... There was a uh, open source program for the Microsoft Connect uh -huh. where you uh, can put the Connect and just move it around a person. Oh, I see. And it will generate a 3 model from that. And that's an open source program. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to look that up. Cool. All right, thanks. Huh? Okay, what's your name? Uh, Jeff. Oh, oh, are we filming? So is that okay? Is this thing on? Of course this is yeah, fine. My name's Jeff. Okay. Make a bot. Okay. Tell me what we have here. This is the replicator. This is our third generation uh, 3D printer. We, uh, we'll ship our 10,000th unit next week, believe it or not. Wow. We've been making them a long time. And, uh, is this your only model? Or? This is the current model we're shipping. Okay. It comes with two extruders. You can see it's got two colors, red and black. You don't black. have to swap them out. Don't have to swap them out. We're making two color products like this lovely cupcake. Mm -hmm. Don't try to eat it. No, I won't. Okay. This That's is out good. of ABS plastic like Legos are made of. It also comes in a PLA, which is turn based and uh, biodegradable. Okay. That's good. And nothing's printing right now. How Mike, Mike, start a print. Start a print. How much does it run? This is, as it says here, $19.99 with the two extruders. Okay. Or $17.49 with a single extruder. Okay. And they're available right here. Oh. That's great. And there's no backlog or anything like that because... We have a backlog when you order, but Maker Shed bought them in advance, so they're here. Okay, great. I think we're still advertising um, 10 to 12 weeks. It should be less than that, but we're trying to be cautious. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You can either put it on the SD card and use it from the... Uh, Front, what are you going to print out? Oh, okay, nice. And once, you, once you're controlling the computer, you use a uh, replicator. How long would it take to do that? Open I don't know. I haven't made one of those. How long is it, Mike? Uh, you can change the uh, you can change really? the info, you can change the, the shell, you can change the feed rate. Is it really heating up? It yeah. yeah, that could take a few minutes. Okay. Just the scale? Absolutely. Keep yeah, building. Yeah, you, even have have a button. you can scale it any which way, and you can see it on the platform. Platform is 6.9 and Pretty up, to six, uh, up to 6 inches tall, so it really it'll, it'll, it'll show you everything and you can get it anywhere. So far, a large, very detailed uh, image. Oh, check that out. How long it, uh, it really depends on what you're doing. I mean, we uh, we have a globe that we print out. You know, it's the world. And it's about that big, and I think it takes about nine hours. Everything's uh, really light, colors, and mostly it's, hollow inside. It's huge. Oh, okay. And yeah. so it's detailed between land and water? Okay. 